Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. I'm very excited to film this one because today I'm going to be talking about the kind of most classic best investment pieces that I think everybody should have in their wardrobe. When I say everybody, I don't really think that you have to have any of these pieces. Just like I don't think that any of the pieces that I dislike you shouldn't have in your wardrobe. There seems to be a lot of confusion when it comes to those things lately. I'm not making rules, I'm just talking about my opinions and today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite pieces that I have. A lot of them I've had for years and I wore them each piece more than 50 times I would say or okay not every piece more than 50 times but a lot of the pieces I've worn many 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 times. The point is that when you work in fashion and you do like fashion weeks and you always kind of have to wear different pieces because that's the sort of like the standard of the industry it's very often a common rule that some pieces you only wear a few times but today I'm talking about the pieces that I wore many many times and I do really strongly recommend. So let's get straight into it. You will see that um, a lot of it has to do with materials and I think investing in good materials and reading the declaration like material composition of the piece that you're buying is very important every time. So for me one of the most most basic most important pieces of my wardrobe I would say are uh, cashmere turtlenecks. I have many. Uh, my most worn are the black the oatmeal and probably the white one. When I wear them the most is when I'm traveling but they also double up as an amazing layering piece as well as an amazing kind of like work piece when you want to look a little bit smarter. So I could wear them under a suit or with jeans or match them with track pants which is just amazing when you're traveling because once you bring a piece away with you that's really great. Today I'm showing you one which is not too wintry so this is like a perfect all year round piece because it's not too chunky and not too thick. This uh, cashmere turtleneck is in an oatmeal color and it is from a brand Lily Silk. Lily Silk makes like these um, turtlenecks in like many many different colors and I, you guys know how much I love the oatmeal color. I think this kind of color really suits my complexion. They are very well known for their um, silk shirts, like all kinds of different uh, beautiful silk shirts and in fact I have two different ones which is which just is really incredible if you're someone that's very careful about materials and likes good materials and likes investing in materials like this kind of piece is never going to be trendy but it's never going to go out of style like if you invest in a cashmere turtleneck like, like this you will be able to wear it forever literally forever because I know my mom has worn these when I was in kindergarten and she still wears them do you know what I mean like it's kind of an ongoing theme type of thing. I really like this and I know that one day, you know, like if I kind of am like, okay, I want to um, kind of change my style, I will never get bored of this. And I do tend to get bored of uh, certain clothing pieces like I've told you <laughs> before in the trends I cannot stand anymore, but I used to love and I wore more than like million times. Uh, talking about Lily Silk, they, like I said, they really have an amazing array of materials and their silk blouses are something that I also have. I have like the kind of a silk, um, this is more like a rosy, actually like a silk color uh, blouse. Now this like navy one I would wear like even over a bikini like to the beach or when you wake up on a holiday, like just imagine like tan skin getting up, putting a beautiful like silk shirt over the underwear just to have like a coffee. For me that is the meaning of true luxury. Like the most beautiful feeling for me is like silk on the skin but I also think like something like this with a pair of jeans is always beautiful like I love navy color. So yeah, I personally believe that everybody needs a bunch of cashmere turtlenecks in their wardrobe because under a blazer, with jeans, with anything, for travel, for work, for everyday, mountains, shopping, even like summer because cashmere is not like this is like such a beautiful kind of thickness of the cashmere so I would definitely check out Lily Silk. I might have a special code for you if you want to get some discount shopping and I will leave everything in the description box below so you guys can check it out. I will try and link all of my favorite pieces in the description box below so you guys can um, check them out, right? 
gonna go straight into business. <laughs> One thing that I believe is an absolute classic piece that I will never ever ever get bored of is Chanel classic flap bag. Normally on Instagram you see them in black and in beige and I think that's a great classic buy. For me, of course, I love the light pink color so, so, so much. I love this bag. This, for me, is one of the most worn bags of 2018, 2019, despite the color. I love the color, like I said. I believe that a classic Chanel flat bag will keep value forever. You will never get bored of it. You will um, love seeing this piece in your wardrobe forever. Look, it even goes with this, like, uh, military green really really well. I believe that this is something that will hold value, that will keep classic, it's not a trend piece, it's not something that you know is in this season and will not be in like a few seasons later. I love trends, I'm someone who buys trends and respects trends because um, I work in fashion and because it's my kind of job to um, inform you guys on what's trendy and what's not trendy because I go to fashion weeks for that reason. I don't go to fashion weeks to get uh, exhausted. I go to fashion weeks to see what's going to be fashionable. And when I tell you this is not fashionable anymore, it doesn't mean that you cannot wear it. It just means that that's the kind of general trend, like fashion news. And just like if I tell you this is trendy or da da da, it means that, you know, you don't really have to buy it. It's kind of, you know. A personal preference. So likewise this bag is never gonna be in trend or out of trend. This is a classic piece. It's a beautiful piece. It's if you want to invest in something I would highly recommend investing in a Chanel classic flat because they go up in prices like twice a year I believe and from the first time that I asked the price of this bag when I wanted it was like two thousand something pounds and I believe now it's like five thousand pounds. So um Fun. Talking about pieces that I wore a lot, it's not gonna be strange for me to mention Misoma jewelry. I mean, how much I love Misoma jewelry. I've been wearing Misoma jewelry for over two years now. I don't believe it's about the trend or, oh my god, this is so hot now. Like, remember at one point there were those like shell necklaces that were trendy for a summer and then, you know, that's it, like a boom and gone. Unlike those, like Misoma is for me like the most classic, beautiful and not so expensive jewelry pieces. There's a lot of, like, I'm really into jewelry. For me, jewelry makes every outfit. Like, for me, just wearing this top would be so boring, but wearing it with these layered chain necklaces is something completely different. I pretty much all the time wear these um, hoops from Misoma, like, every, like pretty much every day. I will link them below, as well as all of these necklaces. So necklace number one, number two, number three. I really love them. This is, by the way, from their new collection, which I think is so stunning. And you can wear it like a different type of length. So you can wear it as long as this one, or you can wear it as short as this. You can wear it even shorter as a choker or as this. So many different options. Besides these necklaces, I have so many other so my favorites, which I have actually written a blog post about them, so if you would like to check out my Misoma favorites, check out uh, the blog post below. I really, really, really love their pieces. I have worked with them in the past and um, despite that, I have purchased from Misoma so many times before, even before I worked with them. And you guys know I, I just wear it pretty much always. Today I've got some of their rings as well. So this little pinky uh, ring I love so much, I think it's super cool. And then I have two other rings. Uh, on my wrist you will notice that I have another kind of classic investment piece. It's probably one of my favorite watches. It's a Rolex um, Datejust watch with the pearl dial and the diamond bezel. It's a steel and gold watch. I love it. It was apparently watch of the year, the year after I bought it. So it might not be like such a classic, but I think a day just is always, always a classic kind of watch. I currently have like five or six watches, but I think this is a very special watch for me. I really, really like it. And because it's gold and steel, it goes with a lot of pieces. Plus, uh, my dad always advises me to buy jewelry and to buy watches. He always says like, instead of buying so many bags, try and buy more gold and more watches because that will always keep the value. I do agree, I do agree, but <laughs> I also like the fashion, you know? Other pieces that I always wear are my Maria Tash earrings because I believe that they also, because it's gold and diamonds, you know, they're really precious, they're really beautiful and something that I always wear as well uh, but I haven't got on now so I will have to insert the picture are my Cartier love bracelets. I love Cartier overall as a brand. Um, the bracelets are beautiful and for me it's something that I've had for many years and I never take off. Uh, I also think that uh, Bulgari B0 uh, ring 
is a beautiful piece to have like a classic classic piece that will never lose value and it has a really favorable starting price point so it could be a great gift for like a graduation anniversary or something like that those are my two cents about the jewelry but I really like how beautiful are these misoma pieces i love them love 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 them next piece that i would love to talk about is a black blazer i mean a black blazer. I have an array of blazers. I have a hot pink one, I have a yellow one, I have a red one and honestly like they're beautiful. I'm gonna wear them whole summer. I'm gonna make sure to wear them a lot of times. They're nothing, nothing, nothing. Come close to this blazer. It is one of the favorite pieces that I own in my whole wardrobe and that's a big statement. It's really weird as well because it was a randomly like a gifted thing. Uh, this is a Stella McCartney, kind of like a navy blazer with the black stripes so i would say a navy or a black blazer but stella mccartney does incredible suits like the way she does suits is just another level and it's always been another level but this blazer i love so much i got this gifted look it was a sample it says stella mccartney spring summer 2019 i think i got this over a year ago but it was a sample and then stella dressed me for one of her parties i chose a look and afterwards they said that I could keep the look, which made me very happy because this blazer I wore more than 50 times. This is the blazer that if you tell me, hey, wear whatever, and then you need to put something over just to leave the house, to see the postman, or to like, you know, to do something, like to get to the supermarket, or just come downstairs for a quick coffee meeting, I'm gonna put this on. This I love this on. I love, love, love this blazer. Everybody should have a black blazer, but a well-made black blazer because the difference that it makes is incredible. So this is more like a navy and it's more like a casual vibe blazer, but then a more structured, more elegant black blazer that I have would be this uh, Saint Laurent one. It has this white plaque here that you can see, like a white tissue, which you can do like this or do like this, which I usually wear like this actually. I love this one. This is like an Ottoman um, wool blazer with a silk lapel. It's kind of a more of a disco lapel, as you can see. Very, very high padded shoulder. So this is more of an elegant thing. I'm not just gonna put this on a run, like a milk run, you know, <laughs> because yeah, it's so special. I love this piece. It's really, something that i believe when you have something like this in your wardrobe you like everything else can be like a simple jeans white t-shirt this blazer and black heels and you will look like a million bucks this will never get out of fashion okay maybe the like shoulders will not be so fashionable anymore which is why i also show the stella mccartney blazer but i think that for someone like me for my body shape and my build like i love wearing the shoulder pads for me shoulder pads are just like love them and they do remind me of like back when i was growing up in yugoslavia my mom used to wear a lot of shoulder pads so i guess <sighs> sooner or later we do turn into our parents you know i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing but we all turn into our mothers for me it's a good thing because my mom is pretty incredible now i'm gonna talk about sunglasses you guys know i have like 300 i don't know how many pairs i have too many pairs i've actually cleared them out a little bit recently but the most worn pairs for me are I would say at the moment, uh, well not at the moment, for the past two years, these Versace ones, they are a little bit extra because they have the very recognizable Medusa head on the side. And this is like from the Gianni Versace era, kind of very, very cool style. So I would say that these are not, these are classic, these are very cool, they're not going to go out of fashion, but if you do, uh, want something even more classic that will never go out of fashion then go for the classic Celine uh, Audrey I think these are called Audrey right I think these are a little bit more oversized so they're great if you're sunbathing it it's very sunny if you're on a boat if you know you don't want like mini fashionable sunglasses these are the sunglasses you should get they will never leave fashion if you don't want something that's so big if you want something more you know, smaller, something cooler, something more like a cat eye appropriate, then I would really suggest Saint Laurent. I love these, these are cat eye, I just found them in my bag the other day, and uh, really really like these sunglasses. They cover a little bit less, so they reveal the eyebrow still, 
and um, yeah, I really, really like them. A lot of you have been asking me what's going on with my um, sunglass brand and things are on hold now during the corona times because I cannot like speak about this right now. There's a lot of stuff that are on pause at the moment, but things are cooking, cooking and more exciting stuff is coming soon. It's just like a very unfortunate time for really doing anything, you know what I mean? So let's talk about another thing that I think is an absolute classic. It's so funny because in this video, whatever I touch, I think about my mom. You know, my mom has a very classic kind of fashion sense. She doesn't buy into trends, she never did, but she always had like a really quality pieces in her wardrobe. One of the pieces that I remember that my mom has for over 20 years is her Camel Max Mara coat. Like, I mean, yeah, over 20 years she has it. So I was like, you know what? I would have to put a Max Mara coat on my must kind of classic tabs that will never leave fashion. And I believe that's true. But my mom's one is spectacular. It's like a cashmere camel coat, which I don't have. <laughs> I have two Max Mara coats, like a pleated one and a teddy one, which I wear all the time and I love it. But I believe that teddy one in two or three years might become a bit more of a trend thing than a classic thing. Also, um, that will make me very sad because I think it's the comfiest and the warmest coat I have. But very similar to the Max Mara coat would be the Balmain double-breasted um, like a button coat. This is wool and cashmere mix. It's like a beautiful beige color. I think uh, it's kind of similar to the color of uh, Max Mara. I wore this coat more than 100 times for sure. Got it, I believe, in 2016 or 17. Who remembers? Wow, if you remember, I love you. So I got it a while back, I love it. Classic silhouette, very flattering, beautifully, nicely structured shoulders, but not too padded. So for me, this is a really nice classic piece in a beautiful color. One uh, pair of shoes that I have to uh, mention are the Manolo Blahnik Hangisi pumps. I have the satin pink color. These are the most classic shoes ever since the Sex in the City premiere did the movie in, I believe, 2008. I think it's eight because I remember I finished my exams and I went alone to the cinema to watch it because I was so excited and it was the best, best, best prize for me. Ever since then I wanted them, then I got a pair and so I've had these shoes for five, six years. We'll never get rid of them, they will never go out of fashion. I will leave some really beautiful um, other options in the description box below that I think are also stunning but I really honestly think that these shoes are so special and will never go out of fashion. One more thing that who would I even be if I wouldn't mention is Hermes. Now, the moment that I bought this bag, I knew that I could sell it for like double the amount of money because these things, like, they, they hold value better than gold. It's incredible how much they hold value. Getting a Birkin is almost impossible, which makes them very valuable and which of course creates the second kind of market. But I've never ever ever bought something at Hermes and then sold it for a higher price. For me, it's like so unfair to do that. I love my Hermes bags. I know they will always um, maintain value. I know that one day I will pass them down to my daughter and um, that she will equally love them because they will maintain their value. So for me, that is something really, really beautiful. Talking about Hermes, Hermes jumping boots are a classic piece. These boots will never be in or out of fashion. They're classic, they are just beautiful. They come in kind of few different colors and I believe that from this season they even made them in a rubber version. I do ride horses even in these uh, because I think that's just so chic, you know? Like it makes me feel a little bit like, a, I don't know, like every time I wear these boots it's like a little bit of Charlotte Kaziragi vibes when you put it on and you're like, this is the style, not like me personally, but like this is the style, you know what I mean? And that is an incredible style for me. So I love these boots and these are the black boots that will never go out of style. And in fact, <laughs> I know that um, you will say that now I'm like kind of saying something, but these boots are going to be the biggest trend of autumn winter uh, 20 because the riding boots, especially with this thing on top, are going to be super, super hot. I promise I'm not going to be yapping on more about Hermes, but one last thing are the sandals from Hermes, just because you cannot really go wrong with this brand. And I've spoken about these in my top 15 shoes for spring, summer 20. These are super high on the list, flat or a little bit heeled or a little bit even more heeled. I love them. I think they're amazing. And 
I really think that you cannot go wrong with them. I've worn them many, 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 many times. One last thing that, I mean, who would I even be if I would mention, is the black mini dress now. I love, love, love this philosophy one. I was I was in between two dresses that I could mention. It was uh, one like a black kind of corset dress that I wore so many times, but I think she will get replaced by the philosophy one. This one is currently available, so I will link it below, but I think this is a beautiful classic piece that, I mean, you can style different ways, you can wear different ways, and I believe that a black dress is something that everybody should have. You should just find one that is very, flattering for your body shape and I think that this one is flattering for my body shape because it's cinched in the waist, pronounced shoulders and really nice kind of but a cool short A-line. So I love it and this item is the last item with which I conclude this kind of classic items in my wardrobe video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which one was your favorite. Let me know what are your like three most worn pieces in your wardrobe and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys!